Welcome back everyone, my name is Echo. I hope you're having a great day. Today in this video, I'm gonna be showing you how to use any Minecraft PC texture pack on Minecraft Pocket Edition, the Bedrock version. This is free to do, it only takes a couple of clicks, and hopefully you're gonna enjoy this. So this will work for Minecraft Pocket Edition beta version, non-beta, it will work for version 1.6, 1.5, 1.4, and even 1.3. You must have the Minecraft Pocket Edition version 1.2.6 or above. Now the main reason I'm doing this is because if you go to the Minecraft store, we do have texture packs, but they're really not that good. There's like two or three good ones. The rest of them are master packs that 4 j created, which really aren't that great for the survival player. Now hopefully you're gonna enjoy this. If you do, please be kind enough to hit that like button it shows, your, it shows your appreciation for these videos, but more importantly, it helps other people find my channel and find the video they are looking for. So I've done this already, but I'm gonna show you everything you need to know. So if I go to settings, I go to global resources, I did this one which I called Fluxy Pack. If I enable it, and then go into a game, you'll notice that everything has changed. I just wanna show you guys that it does fully work, but any Minecraft PC texture pack that you wanna use on Minecraft Pocket Edition you can do that. So if I load up the game, guys, it's gonna look completely different. The blocks are gonna look completely different as well, as you guys can see here. I'll just grab a couple of them and show you. Um, let's just grab this. I'll do, as you guys can see here. We've got some pretty wacky stuff in this one. Don't worry, you can do literally any texture pack. So it's, it's fully down to you, what you wanna do. Uh, but I thought it was pretty cool. I actually like this pack, to be, to be honest with you. It's pretty wacky, but it's also pretty fun as well. And this is done completely free and didn't cost me any money at all. So let's just quickly get rid of this pack. Quickly, done, get rid of you, done. Let's close down Minecraft Pocket Edition and let's start from the beginning. So you need to head over to the Google Play Store and you need to type in Minecraft Resource Pack Converter or Resource Pack Converter. Now it should be the top one, which is kind of like two arrows. It's created by the Lucky Coder. It's this one. It's actually pretty new. It was only updated a couple of days ago and only has 500 downloads. Hopefully after today's video, we can get this to 1,000 downloads. Now if we open it, it does explain a couple of things. Do expect this to be updated quite regularly. But as you guys can see here, please note, this app cannot fully convert resource packs from Java to Bedrock. That is impossible without a lot of manual work. The converter, Resource pack will require Minecraft Bedrock 1.2.6 or above works best with MC 1.12 resource packs. Now, not everything will transfer. There's only a couple of things that I know that will not work and that is banners, horses, potions, spawn eggs, beds and arrows. For some reason, they just will not convert. Maybe in the future this app will be updated and it will fully work. Now you need to get a .zip file. If I go to pick resource pack, go to downloads, you can see fluxy.zip is there. Don't worry, we're gonna do a brand new one. So if you guys wanna get resource packs for Minecraft PC, head over to Google, whatever search engine you're using, and type in Minecraft 1.12, we'll do this, Minecraft 1.12, texture packs or resource packs, it's up to you. We'll just do resource and it should come up. Resource packs, the second one. So search for 1.12, which is the latest version of Minecraft PC, and then you can search for any texture pack you want. So I recommend sticking to the top four websites. These are usually the best. I got the Fluxy one from this one, which is called Minecraft 1.12 Resource Packs. Minecraft6.com is what this website is called. Uh, there's a couple of them, but again, guys, we do need to find a .zip file. So I'm just gonna go for a couple of these until we find one that we like. So I found this one, and it actually looks pretty cool, to be honest with you. If you click on these packs, they usually have a couple of pictures. Obviously the download is usually at the bottom, which is exactly what we're looking for. Now this is the version 1.12.x. Doesn't matter if it's 1.12.x. So we got a download. This should bring up a new download. It's now downloading. Again, it is downloading a .zip file. Now once you've downloaded it, you could do this a couple of times if you wanted to. And for the sake of this video, I'll go and find another texture and convert two at a time. So I found another pack. This one's called Block Pixel Resource Pack. Again, for Minecraft 1.12.2. Obviously it shows pictures. I think this is pretty cool. Scroll down to the bottom. The more pictures they have, guys, usually it's better because you're finding more resources. Click on this, click on download. This should download a media fire, this one. 
download, this is going to install another .zip file. So once this is downloaded, I'm going to show you guys how to convert it. So once you've messed around with the texture packs that you want to get, go and pick a resource pack. For me, mine are located in the most recent download section. We now have three different packs in here. Fluxy, which you've seen at the start. We have the Alchemy pack and the Block Concept Resource Pack. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to do the top one first. And then all you do here is you decide what you want to have the name as. Uh, it's I'm just going to simply get rid of all of this and just keep it as, oops, as that because it kind of looks much better. And then I'm just going to go to Convert and Apply. It should open a five second advert. That's fine. Three, two, one. Close. This pack should nearly be fully completed and it will pop up saying it's been fully converted. Again, if you want to do another pack, click on the same place, download, we'll go to block concept, I'll keep the name exactly the same, convert the pack, small advert will pop up, just get rid of it as soon as you can. And as you can see, both of them have been successfully converted. Now if you really wanted to check where these packs were placed, download something that gives you access to files. For me, I'm just using um, something called Explorer. If I go to storage, sorry, if we go to uh, my SD card, I can then go to uh, games, in games, com.mojang, and inside of here we have resource packs. And all the packs that I downloaded and installed are directly in this file. So that's up to you if you want to make sure they're there. You don't really need this. Let's boot up Minecraft and let me show you. So like I showed you at the start of the video, go into settings, go into global resources, we now have all the packs that I've installed, Fluxy, this pack, and Concept. Now we're just going to start off with this one. I don't recommend enabling two of them at a time. Just to make sure you've done it correct, back out of Minecraft, if it does crash, then you have some issues. But we're just going to load up the exact same world as we did before, but just with a different texture pack. And this is really good, because if you're a survival player like me, sometimes it's good to have a texture pack. But like I said at the start of the video, the ones in the store really aren't that great. And as you can see here, this texture pack has completely changed again. And I think it looks pretty cool. It's very, very basic, but it's very, very cool. And as you can see here, the sheep have also changed. And he seems really happy as well. And you can just mess around with the blocks. I really like the, the glass in this one, actually. I've never used this texture pack before, but I kind of really like the glass. It's actually really cool, isn't it? So that's the first one I wanted to show you. Go and mess around with that. I'm just going to go to save and quit. I recommend changing your resource pack, your texture pack at the main menu. Try not to do it in game. I don't think you can anyway, but if you can, don't do it. Uh, we're just gonna change to, in fact, we'll change the global resource pack. Let's get rid of this one, which we just used, and let's change it to this one, which I believe, I can't remember what this changes, but we did change quite a couple of things. So play, exact same world. Hopefully this doesn't break the game. Come on, please load. Is it a chicken or a duck? Okay, it worked successfully. I was really worried because this pack seems slightly different from what I'm usually usually downloading. Uh, and this one's kind of changed. Wow, the water on this one looks pretty cool, actually. I kind of like this one. It was something to do with only a couple of things have changed in this one, but I was just simply messing around with it. Uh, that looks actually pretty cool. What is that block? Prismarine. That looks pretty cool. And the glass has changed as well. So go and have some fun, guys. That is how you get any Minecraft PC resource pack slash texture pack on Minecraft Pocket Edition. Just head over to Google, type in Minecraft 1.12 resource packs or texture packs. Have some fun, and I'll catch you next time. Bye!